Hey everyone, welcome back to the video side of Linux for Everyone, and welcome home. This is the Kubuntu Focus. It's a laptop with very similar specs and design to the System76 Oryx Pro. The Focus is being offered by Tuxedo Computers and is officially endorsed by the Kubuntu Council. And there's a few things that distinguish it from its competition. One of the featured highlights of the Focus is a heavily modified version of Kubuntu 18.04. So before we get into a proper review, let's pop it open and check out the desktop, the tweaks, and the included software. The first thing you'll notice is this is not remotely what Kubuntu looks like out of the box. Mindshare management, the people behind the Kubuntu Focus, have made a ton of subtle and not so subtle changes to vanilla Kubuntu with the goal of delivering an improved workflow for power users and for developers. One of dozens of optimizations under the hood is the inclusion of Google Chrome with all the GPU acceleration options switched on. For me, it's gonna take some getting used to. I, I wasn't immediately in love with the overall layout here, but that is highly subjective and it's actually grown on me a bit. Of course, this is KDE, so configuring the desktop layout in a way that's comfortable for you is well within reach. So right off the bat, you're given options for connecting to Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive. While my dream scenario is eventually using something like Nextcloud for everything, I think these built-in options are practical and necessary for a lot of people. What's especially cool is a widget where you can cycle through a ton of useful shortcut reminders for your desktop, workflow, command line, and Vim. The Kubuntu Focus team has also done a remarkable job so far in writing some workflow guides for gaming, pro photography, and printing, and they plan to finish all of the others that you see here by the end of February. This is a really nice touch, and, and I appreciate when companies go beyond just selling hardware and try to educate people as well. There's also a desktop link here to supported apps that are pre-installed, and you can launch those directly on the Focus by clicking the app icon on the page. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and scroll through and, and take a look at what is pre-installed here. Some of what you'll see are benchmarking apps, and I believe they're installed specifically for reviewers before it actually goes live to the public. And I installed OBS to capture footage. So of course, we've got stuff like LibreOffice in here. We've got Steam pre-installed, which is very nice. And by the way, they have also enabled the repository for Lutris. So it's a simple act of sudo apt install Lutris, and that's ready to go too. For graphics, we've got stuff like Darktable. We have GIMP, GwynView, Inkscape, LibreOffice Draw, Ocular, as you can see, Dropbox there. KTorrent, which is nice. That's something that I always install right off the bat. Audacity, Cantata, Clementine, Handbrake pre-installed. That's really cool. And various other stuff. And you'll see with the uh, NVIDIA X server settings that it ships with the latest NVIDIA driver, which is 4.4.0. So back in time for uh, backups and restoring. Overall, a pretty robust selection of pre-installed software. There's obviously a lot more about the Kubuntu Focus that we need to explore, so I'll be back very soon with a detailed look at gaming performance and benchmarks, as well as a healthy dose of praise and some criticism for the Kubuntu Focus. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It'll help me out a lot, and you'll get future videos and the Linux for Everyone podcast under one roof. And a very shameless plug here because I'm super excited about this. Check out the Linux and Coffee for Everyone mug, which is available right now for a limited time at the Destination Linux Network store. Until we chat again, take care and take care of each other.